Hey guys, I'm in Honjo and it's really windy. I'm sorry I didn't film anything at the start because I felt kind of sick. We're supposed to be fasting, but I'm not anymore because I took two sips of water. And we're gonna go somewhere to eat before we're going to Westlake. So I'm just walking around before we get there. On the way to the restaurant. Castle. Overhead pass. Who's this surprise guest? Very unexpected. Not really. My brother. Everybody knows him. Huh? Hello. This is Felix. This is us on those like airport converter bus. <laughs> it's exciting before you realize you're moving like two inches. See, they have like a mini one now. Like flowers? Oh, it's the like mini, a little. Like, I don't know. Oh, what are those like things? What, what, is it, what are they called? Like the self sufficient ecosystem? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put a little bit of water in. You just fill out the window. The city of Honjo, ladies and gentlemen. Natural Santa? I feel like it's supposed to be fauna. Got off, got off the overpass and saw this. Looks really cool. You can see the water kind of going up. It's kind of neat. Uh, it's more than kind of neat. Oh, hey guys, now I'm in Wade's, this restaurant in uh, Anjo. Um, some of the atmosphere. And I got some uh, nachos. It's some um, jalapenos and some tomatoes, some beans. And I got some penne with some jalapenos and tomatoes. It's called Penne Diablo. Thought it was kind of cool. Too cheap to buy drinks. They were 18 kwai. So we all just got water. But those other guys, they went to play pool. You can see Felix and Harris in the back. So I'm just gonna enjoy my food and I'll get back to you guys at West Lake or the Eiffel Tower. Oh, uh, it's very crowded. There's so many people because it's the national holiday. There's so many stalls. There's so many little um, bracelets and jewelry. You can buy for, I don't know, yourself or somebody special or yourself, probably yourself. Are you guys going to buy anything? Huh? Excuse me. Just gonna... Thank you. Oh. A lot of shops, more jewelry, a lot of things. A lot of people don't like being filmed here, so just kind of doing it from afar. A lot of walking things. Basically, these uh, stalls just go on endlessly. They're all like little gadgets or rice, jewelry, makeup. I'm not gonna film it all, guys. There's a lot. This place has multiple rows. There's people doing others' nails, a lot of nail art, don't know why. Then there's people selling little figures. There's a lot of that. Cute little figures, a lot of them. Little guys, then a lot of jewelry. Someone with a lot of Chinese medicine products. This guy's selling these cool shimmery um, wow, display lights. I'm not sure and I'm not gonna ask. Then there's this person selling all these figures. If you look closely, you may recognize a few like cartoon characters or anime. There's like Luffy and Disney princesses. There's Conan. There's a ton, basically. There's this guy who sells a bunch of like kids toys and uh, who knew a bunch of uh, fidget spinners, a lot of those. Um, 
some scarves and pajamas maybe. A lot of silk scarves. My mom would really like this. Then a lot more figures. A ton of figures. Yeah, there's too many people. And then a ton of figures and uh, these mosaic thingies. I don't know why my camera's shaking a bit, sorry about that. That dragon in the back looks really cool. And that Ferris wheel? I don't know, these things look really neat. A lot of these bracelet things. Basically there's a ton of variety here. Then more children's toys. Some traditional Chinese fans. I think they make them here, but I'm not sure. Some bags that may or may not be knockoffs. A hundred percent legit. A balloon shooting game. Children's fishing game. With those like little nets and everything. Don't worry, they also have food like meat on a stick. And uh, sandwich. And uh, more stick food. And uh, tofu. More meat on a stick. There's always meat on a stick. Stick food, this barbecue. Meat on a stick. And alley. Uh, the thing is, there's just so many stalls here. It's hard to do anything that's like different from someone else. But this guy, he's got or Karina's guys. And they're pretty fairly priced, I think. Like the little ones are like 55, then 65, 75, 88, and then the big ones were around like 128. Uh, I'm sorry, my camera keeps shaking. I don't know why. I feel like my phone is getting a bit old. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, this this portrait one is interesting too. How does get out of the way? It's not a portrait of you unless you're paying. I saw someone draw a picture of like a little girl here and he actually looks like almost exactly like her. Is this guy, he's the portrait artist. But he's actually very good from what I saw earlier. Guys, there's some like squishable toys here. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. It's like a chronic illness or something. This oh. one the best. This is the best one. Oh. That actually looks like stressful. Come on, I the bun. <laughs> where's, the, where's the creepy old man? It kind of looks like Big Ed from like TLC. That, that the 90, 90 Day Fiance. The cute little horse. And the duck. The duck is the MVP because it's adorable. This is, this is very cute if you have like stress problems and you want to be very adorable about it. I, I would for sure buy this like oh, pink this, one. There's a rabbit in this one. What the heck? I've heard of rabbit on the moon but I've never heard of rabbit in water. Oh, there he is. He's like swimming away from you. Aww, that's very cute. I was thinking about it and then I bought it for like 10 kwai, which is like two bucks. And look, there's some like sleeping Pokemon, which is very cute. I mean, it's night, but we're not gonna be sleeping. We're not gonna be sleeping for a while, or ever. I'm not sure. And there's like even more little guys over there, but I already bought one, so I am content. Okay, so we're at West Lake, as you can see, the beautiful lake. Okay, shut up, Horus. Here we are, we're just walking, and Hottis is complaining the whole time. Felix has made a decent point. I thought I was the complainer. That glowy thing over there is a convenience store where I will get my delicious sustenance in the form of Powerade or Gatorade or anything really because I'm thirsty. The white has been revealed. It is. I don't know. 
I'm not. I'm not good. I'm. Carlos is like 711. I don't know. I'm not good at reading on like demand. It takes a couple of seconds for the characters to process through my head. Paris, what was the name of the store? What? No, no, no. Like in Chinese. Yeah. If if anyone heard that, because I sure didn't. Delicious sustenance. Doesn't look like there's any of the ones that I'm looking for though. Milk. Only Chinese stores with their milk. And their seafood products. Instant food. And. I mean. I don't, know, I don't know if anyone cares what the inside of a Chinese convenience store looks like. But there's like toiletries and stuff. So weird. What? Why? Who's eating Doritos? I don't want to eat Doritos. Why? Who comes to Honjo to eat Doritos? I did. Here's instant coffee. <laughs> these aisles are so thin. Oh guys, look at my new shoes. I got these. I think they're pretty nice, pretty comfortable, and candy. I mean, who comes to freaking Westlake to film a convenience store, right? I found my delicious sustenance. Here it is. My brother is now trash because he bought a Nest tea and he's supporting Nestle, the trash corporation. Area. Here is um, uh, the lake. You know, it's water, not super clean water, but um, it's China, guys. Um, yep. That's Lake. <laughs> what? The negativity in this spot is... Yeah, I mean, there's no way to take anything good here. It's just... It's water. And look at this, it's not even safe. Like, look, they have these, like, like, these things, and there's no, like, guardrails or anything, so, like, literally anybody could just fall in and die if they don't know how to swim. So, me, basically. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, this was lackluster. Taking a stroll through scenic West Lake at night. So it's just dark water, a lot of people, some relaxing winds, and kind of a f full moon, but not really. I tried to take a photo for like 20 minutes, and the others went on ahead at my suggestion. And I'm very angry, because it's like windy, my hair kept blowing, and I didn't end up getting a single good picture. So what a waste of time. Great. Was it worth the trip? No. Those like souvenir shack places that just sell like random things. Bunch of people I don't care about because I'm not in a awesome mood, but you know, what can you do? Just roll with it, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of this. I'm not gonna film this because this is kind of boring. Oh, uh, this was uh, our room at the hotel. There's like kind of like room for three people. There was some robes here, just obscured by a towel now. We stayed at this hotel, the Milan. There was like a big tub here, but no one used it. I like this sink, it was pretty nice. It was just, uh, this further one was the bathroom, and this one was the shower, the one with the towel on it. And there's this neat little thing here, and this beautiful view, totally worth the price. And I mean, that was kind of the, the whole stay at the room. There was also like a little desktop uh, computer here that was also unused. But regardless, I think it was a pretty decent room for the price, I guess, during the circumstances. 
We went in. Next station, Jianlongkou. Doors will open on the left. 为营造良好的乘车环境，请在车厢内降低音量，低声淋雨。Uh, Please lower your voice to the volume of your electronic device when inside the train compartment. And there's a ton of people. I'm not gonna film because, I mean, they're just people. It's just really nice, like a nice little resort you come to in the summer with your family or something. My dad hates traveling though, so not gonna fucking happen with so this much stuff. Family traveling shit. I mean, I'll go with the family if I if I make a family. Yeah. And it sounds like a pain in the ass though. Yes. This is the ATV place. It's like a nice little nature place. We're having a barbecue. Hmm? I'm waiting for my turn at the grill because all the places are taken. Rip. There's a lot of people here. There's also kayaking and then when we do the ATVing we're gonna go up the mountain. So if I ever get my food cooked, then I will hop on that ATV. Well guys, we had to pass a, like a driver test to ride the ATV. And I failed because it's really heavy and hard to do the turn. So now I get to ride with the trainer. But at least I got to make some good videos, I guess, because I'm not driving. Uh, one of three. Help him, help him. Just... Hmm? Thank you, Ronnie. This large ATV. ATV is busted. Now, worst comes to worst, another person rides with the coach in me. Good view, though. I guess, in a way, I got lucky by failing. Rip ATV. Couldn't find one, so I'm very thankful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. And she's experienced. <laughs> That's what matters. Me, I'm total scrub. First time, but it's really fun. We're getting too much sun, though. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm get a picture tomorrow and be like three shades darker. So, I mean, did you? Are you wearing sunscreen? No. I'm not. I mean, I don't even own sunscreen. It's over, guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Well. This is the nice pond. There are many foreigners kayaking. 
Yep, it's almost time for paintball. These are my shoes. Very important footage. Yep, I'm excited. I got revenge on my brother for partnering with someone else. How could he do that to me? Vengeance is paint color. This is the setting for the paintball. It's not really paintball. We have like kind of like rubber-ish bullets. And uh, the first game we played defense and we were okay until the end. We're brown team and I feel like black team actually did end up beating us in the end. It sucked. I got shot in the mouth. Hey! Don't shoot me! And it tasted disgusting. And I mean, my arm's gonna get like a freaking bruise because some rando just freaking shot me. But I mean, it was still pretty fun, even though I got shot in the mouth more than once. Hello. I, I have a cheat code. Oh. <laughs> oh, you have an extra thing? <laughs> wow. If we don't win this round, then. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. Black team's on defense this round. We're gonna beat them, I swear. Whoa, whoa, yo! I'm gonna make a vlog, guys! Fuck! Hiding in the pedestrians. Yo, you suck. Well, we kind of got demolished. I got some uh, kind of bruises, if y'all can see them. But I mean, I tried my best. Black team sucks. And I uh, mean, if I ever play again, maybe we'll do better. Fuck. We got demolished. Well, this was this park place. This is where we had the barbecue. The lake where we went kayaking. And the mountain where we went ATVing. And this shop with a nice IE. Well, it recharges you for stuff that I got a power bank from. And then, as you can see, I'm making my way back because the bus is coming. Sorry if my hands are shaking a bit. I'm on my way back from the kind of paintball. Just walking down trail to the bus. I'm tired though. Hey, how'd it go? It's ending off the vlog. You suck. You suck. This is where we practice the ATV thing. Uh. And uh, I'm walking back to the bus. We're just waiting because our um, guide, she has to use the bathroom. And so, it was a nice place. It was pretty hot. Did a lot of things today. And uh, I'm pretty thirsty for water, nothing else. Aziz, you suck too. Can't believe you shot me. There's some tires here, you know, some decorative stuff. Ugh, I can't talk. I got shot in the face, like, like more than once. It went in my mouth. I, I spit out paintball pellet. Quite disturbing. This is where we just were. Paintball private place. That's where everyone still is. In for the bus. And this is the entrance. And I don't know, one of those is probably our bus. I'm kind of tired, so I'm probably gonna stop vlogging now. Maybe I'll do like end something. I don't know. Not the best production quality here, but thanks. Man, they have like a bunch of like little animals on sale here, like rabbits and guinea pigs and turtles and like baby ducks and stuff. And like, you see those rings that guy has? Like, they're supposed to like toss them on the cage and whichever one like they get on the cage, they get to have. And it's a little fucked up in my opinion because we don't know where a lot of these animals came from. But I just thought it was kind of neat that this is just like a regular thing that happens here. You see, someone just bought some rings and I imagine they're gonna play now. So let's just wait a bit and see if they win anything. Yeah, 
Okay, now I don't really know if anyone's even gonna play, but I just saw a little boy win two baby chicks. So I guess I should have filmed sooner. Oh, someone just threw a ring. This. Oh, this lady just threw a ring. Someone just won this fish. I guess someone just got a fish. Okay, I guess we're good. What is that? I can't really tell what that little pink one is. I think it's a mouse. Okay, I guess I'm down here. This is actually kind of crappy. I don't think this is cute or anything. Uh, so this is gonna be my last uh, meal in Hanjo. We went to this Indian place that's pretty high rated. It's called Chak Tak. We got uh, chicken curry, uh, butter naan, garlic naan, um, half a tandoori chicken with some sauce, um, some butter chicken, and some uh, mutton masala. And then we each got our own like little serving of rice because you can't eat. Indian food without rice and uh, this is the whole thing it's pretty good everybody's already digging in so I'm gonna get started as well well guys this is probably the last place I'm gonna film in Hanjo maybe I'll film something in the car but this place was like lit up like really nice and like there was some lights here on the bridge and everything but i was waiting for those other two guys to finish their videos and pictures and the light went out it happens at 10 30 every day apparently so i guess we get to see the park in the dark which is not as great frankly So just peaceful ambience at the end of this chaotic trip vlog thing. Hit something. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. This place was really beautiful just a couple minutes ago with all the lights up. But I guess the city of Hanjo's cheap on the power bill. I'm sorry if you can't make out a lot of things. Maybe I should invest in actual equipment. And I thought it would just be nice to kind of walk down here and think about, like, you know, my thoughts and such during the trip. I think it went pretty well. Ended up meeting a lot of new people, none of which I will probably see again because, I mean, I have seven months. Sounds like I'm dying. <laughs> um, so... But... Other than that, it was a pretty good experience, I feel. Well, I almost stumbled there a bit. Um, the ATVing was pretty fun. This is a very large slanted tree. Here is a lone bench. China doesn't have many benches. I don't know why. Um, here's a bridge. It's kind of obstructed. So, I mean, all in all, it was a good trip. I don't regret coming or anything. Just, I feel like there was a bit more lows than I wanted there to be. But other than that, it was good. I bought some dumb stuff. This, like, squishy ball thing I would show, but I don't want to open my backpack and everything. This is, like, the Hanjo Canal, Grand Canal. It's very, I don't know, grand, I suppose would have been grander if I had vlogged when the lights were still on, but I would ask those other two their opinions, but I mean, I've wandered a bit far, so I don't want to. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you have any suggestions and stuff, 
or like you know stuff you liked about this one please you know leave a comment or you know the such and goodbye